Hey guys, Rick Stone here from Our Stony Acres. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to deal with all of these fall leaves. Before we get started today, let's make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, make sure that you uh, click that notification bell. That'll give you notice every time we release new videos. And make sure you go over and follow us on Instagram as well because we've got a lot of fun stuff happening. Stick around because at the end of this video I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about the Gardening Academy and we have a 14 day free trial that I wanted to uh, bounce off you as well. So if your yard is anything like mine right now, it's full of fall leaves. Um, this is about the last tree in our yard that hasn't lost its leaves. It's a Fuji apple tree and it's a about ready to drop them all, but everything else is pretty much done. So we've got a lot of leaves that have been collecting in our yard, and the last thing that I want you guys to do is to send those off to the landfill, okay? I do not want you doing that. I want you instead to incorporate them into your garden, and I've got four different methods, four ways that you can use to incorporate them into your garden so that we're not wasting all of that good, healthy, organic material that is going to help our garden to grow healthier and stronger, okay? So here we go with four tips, four things that you can do to use up those fall leaves and make your garden better um, by using those fall leaves, okay? So number one is use them as a mulch, okay? So mulches are gonna help um, keep your soil in place, um, it's gonna add nutrients to your soil, it's gonna keep the temperature down in the summertime, it's gonna keep the moisture in, and so mulches are just a great way to help your garden soil and help your plants in your soil. And leaves can be a really good mulch. Now, I prefer to use chopped leaves as a mulch. Sometimes um, whole leaves kind of get a little matted down. When they get wet, they'll kind of get this kind of matty texture to them and chopped up leaves do a little bit better. So the way I chop them up is I collect them using my lawnmower instead of a rake. So I'll run them over with the lawnmower that um, chops them up really nice and then I can use those for a mulch. So you could either put them on now in the fall and uh, that would help to improve your garden soil and kind of keep things in place for the winter. Or if you want, you can kind of put them aside and uh, hold on to them for next summer and use those as a mulch during the summertime. I always put mulch on any of my outdoor plants that I'm trying to overwinter. I'll mulch around those. And then I also, my garlic bed um, gets a good mulching of chopped up leaves in the fall to help keep that bed in place and to kind of help protect those growing garlic plants over the winter months. So great use for leaves. Um, using them as a mulch is a great way to keep them out of the landfill and uh, keep them, you know, making your garden healthy. Method number two is to use them as the brown ingredient in your compost system. So um, here's a cutaway of my new three bin compost system and leaves are a big part of composting because they are a brown and for a lot of us, they're the most abundant brown that we produce in our own yard, okay? Um, other examples of brown would be things like straw or shredded paper and those aren't as readily available as leaves are. And so you can collect those leaves and again, it's better to use them chopped. There's less surface area, so they'll decompose quicker. They won't mat down quite as much. So again, collect them with a lawnmower if you have one. Uh, if you don't, it's not the end of the world. You can still use them in your compost. They'll just decompose a little bit faster if you chop them up first, okay? Then all you need to do is add them to your compost bin um, in a mix of about two browns to one green. So your browns are gonna be your leaves and you're gonna do two of those, so a, two buckets or two whatever, you know, however you're measuring them out, to one green. And greens are gonna be things like food scraps or lawn clippings, um, coffee grounds, things like that. You'll mix two to one, maybe three to one in your ratio and uh, mix those all together, stack them up, let them over winter, you'll turn into a nice, beautiful compost pile um, for you that you can then add back to your garden. So that is a great way to deal with those fall leaves is to use them as the brown ingredient in your compost bin. The other thing that I do, I have three compost bins and so I will usually get a batch going um, over the winter and then I'll put the rest of my leaves in one of the other bins and save it for next spring when I have more green materials because in the fall I don't have a lot of greens 
um, in the summer I have tons of greens and so I'll save those leaves in one of my other compost bins so that then I can use those to mix with the greens that I get all summer long to make more compost. So great way to keep those leaves out of the landfill and use them effectively. So pile them up, bag them up, whatever you need to do, but save those leaves so that you can keep them and use them in your garden for the compost. Method number three is to actually incorporate those leaves into the soil using a method that we call trench composting. Now, if you want a little bit more detailed information on trench composting, I actually did a video about that a couple of years ago. You can um, follow this link here and that will uh, take you and you can watch that video. But basically the idea of trench composting is, is you dig a hole and you fill it with organic material and then you put the soil back in. And that organic material will decompose and improve your soil and leaves are a great way to do that. Um, really good to help break down clay soil and uh, adds nutrients back into the soil and so it's a fantastic way to take care of those leaves and a fairly simple way you just dig a trench, dig a hole, whatever you've got, fill it up with leaves, cover it back over with the soil and by next spring those will have decomposed and improved your soil. So great way to keep those leaves out of the landfill. Again, I'm talking about the landfill a lot because I don't want those leaves going to the landfill. You need to be using them in your garden, okay? Now, method number four is the lazy man's way of dealing with leaves, okay? And that is making leaf mold, okay? Now, don't freak out. Leaf mold sounds bad, but um, it's actually not. And I'm not even sure why they call it leaf mold, but basically leaf mold is what you get if you let a whole bunch of leaves decompose together over a, a long period of time. So it's basically making leaf compost, but it takes a lot longer for it to happen because we're not adding greens. So it's all browns, it's all just leaves that are going in there, and so it takes a long time for those to decompose. Usually somewhere between one to two years. So if you've got a space in your yard where you can just put a big old pile of leaves and you usually you want to kind of contain them somehow. So put them in a bin, put them in a wire enclosure or something like that. Um, pile all the leaves in. You can pack them in as tight as you want and then you're just going to let them sit. That's all you have to do. Just let them sit and over the course of a year to two years those will decompose and turn into a very healthy compost that is especially good for plants in the brassica family. So things like broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower are really going to appreciate that leaf mold. Um, and, but any plant is going to appreciate that you're putting more organic matter into your garden. So a great way, very simple. You just have to have a little space. Um, so you could set up a system where, you know, you, you put, you build one pile one year and then um, about the time that one's finished it'll be the next year and you can you kind of keep after it that way but um, a great way to use up those leaves and it's also a great way to use up a whole bunch of leaves so if you've got a lot of trees in your yard you can just pile those up somewhere out of the way and let them decompose just let time and nature take its course um, they'll eventually decompose down into a really super good healthy compost that'll help your garden out a ton so there you go four ways that you can deal with your leaves in the fall that keeps them out of the dang landfill, okay? Use them in your garden. <laughs> You've got all of this great organic material. Use them in your garden so that it, it improves your soil and makes your garden healthier, okay? So there you go. Now, before we leave, I just wanted to remind you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click that notification bell. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure that you also go over and follow us on Instagram. And there's a link down in the description below so that you can go follow us on Instagram. The other thing I wanted to talk about just really briefly is the Gardening Academy. The Gardening Academy is our private monthly membership service um, where I teach you how to grow your own garden. And we do stuff almost weekly. We're in there doing live Q and A's. We're doing mini courses, planting uh, guides, all kinds of stuff that are gonna help you become a better gardener. And right now, we're offering you an opportunity to come and kick the tires. Uh, try it out a little bit. We've got a 14-day free trial that you can, can try out and, and sign up for. Now, i got to warn you, most people that sign up for that trial end up staying. About 75% are staying right now. So down in the link below, um, there is a, a link that you can click. It'll take you out. You can learn a little bit more about the Gardening Academy and then sign up for that 14-day free trial. Um, once the trial is over, 
Uh, if you want to stay, nothing you have to do. It'll just uh, kick over and you'll become a paying member. If for some reason you don't want to stay, that's okay. Um, still love you. Still glad that you're here. Um, so you can just go and cancel that membership and you won't be charged for that first 14 day period. So great opportunity for you to come and try out the Gardening Academy and I would love to have you join. Um, we're having a lot of fun there. It's just a great program and I would love to have you come and be a part of it. Okay. All right. That's all I have for you for this week. Make sure you use up those leaves. Don't send them in the garbage. Um, use them up, get them in your garden, and uh, they'll, they'll just make your garden that much healthier. Okay, thanks everybody. Have a great week. Happy gardening.